Yo, what's up everybody? This is Junior Chicken here. If you're wondering why I'm in a totally different place than I usually am and why I'm in my PJs, well, it's because I'm at my mom's house and I just got off work and I'm too lazy to change into something casual, so... But anyways, we're going to talk about the three new Mega Evolutions revealed in the Coral Coral Leaks and have now been featured in the trailer on the Pokemon website. First off, we got the most obvious and coolest one of them all, Mega Salamence. So we got the Salamencite, and Mega Salamence looks pretty cool. He looks really aerodynamic. He's got those straps where he tucks in his arms. He's got the big ass wings that are in a crescent shape. I didn't put Salamence on my Mega Evolution Ideas video because I felt we already have a Dragon with 600 base that told it gets a Mega Evolution, of course, Garchomp, but we're getting another one with Salamence, so whatever. He's gonna maintain his typing, He's also going to get a defense boost, but he's also going to probably get boost to his speed, attack, and special attack, making him a more powerful Pokemon all in all. And he's going to get the ability Aerial Aid, which I feel like is going to be a lot better used on him than it is on Pinsir. Because Salamence had the flying type before he Mega Evolved in the first place. So, yeah, Mega Salamence looks pretty cool. And, yeah, he's going to be a big threat in a competitive game, I guess. The second Pokemon that's getting a Mega Evolution, this is a bit of a surprise, is Mega Altaria. So we got the Altarite, and Mega Altaria is actually becoming a Dragon Fairy type, which actually suits it really well. I mean, if you look at it, it's very pretty, very beautiful, very elegant looking, and the Fairy type suits it really well. Plus, like, Dragon and Fairy type complement each other so well. It's got a bunch of resistances, and it has only four weaknesses, Ice, Steel, Poison, and Fairy. It also gets Pixelate as an ability. That's the same as Gardevoir's ability, and I definitely can see go good use to Mega Altaria. Mega Altaria is also going to get a boost to its defense, as well as its attack and special attack. So it's going to be a physically sturdy Pokemon, but it's also going to have some really good moves in its arsenal, and... They might cut down its speed like they did with Mega Ampharos, but I still think it's going to be a much better Pokemon to use now, which is all good. And the final Mega Evolution that took pretty much everyone by surprise, Mega Lopunny. What? Mega Lopunny? We're getting a Lopunite? I, I, I found that kind of questioning myself because Lopunny is from Sinnoh, not Hoenn. You expect Hoenn Pokemon to get a Mega Evolution, but we're getting one for a Sinnoh Pokemon instead. But I do really like what they're doing with Mega Lopunny. I'm not really a big fan of regular Lopunny, but with Mega Lopunny, they're making it a normal fighting type, which does give it a bit more weaknesses. It's going to have the fighting type weakness, but it's also going to have weaknesses to flying, psychic, and fairy. And it gets the scrappy ability. That right there is the best part for me, because now it can take care of ghosts. It doesn't have to worry about ghost immunities, which means it can actually have super effective moves against Sable Eyes, Spirit Tombs, Frost Lasses, and even Egg Slashes. So that's already got me pretty psyched for uh, Mega Lopunny. It's also going to get a speed boost and an attack boost. So it looks like the pure wet form for Mega is going to be kicked out of the metagame now that we got a better normal fighting type of Mega Lopunny. All these three Mega Evolutions are pretty cool, there's still plenty of time before the game comes out, so there may be a few more Mega Evolutions out there. And I do have a um, top 10 Mega Evolutions idea video if you want to check that out. Just uh, skip the number 10 entry because Mega Metagross is already confirmed. So contests are back, which I'm not really interested in. What I am interested in is what they're doing with Pikachu. I know this is another thing they're giving their mascot special treatment and put them on a pedestal. I'm not really a big fan of that, but what they're doing is they're implementing a special Pikachu. When I was looking at the cosplay Pikachus that they had on the website, I was like, the tail looks a bit weird. I don't think that's Pikachu's regular tail, and turns out I was right. Turns out there's going to be a special Pikachu that you get after your first contest that has this black heart-shaped mark on the end of its tail. That specific Pikachu you get after your first contest, and it's gonna kind of work like Rotom. 
But not that you can change its typing, but you change the particular contest class that it specializes in. Of course, Pikachu Rockstar is cool. Pikachu Bell is beauty. Pikachu PhD is smart. Pikachu Popstar is cute. And my favorite, Pikachu Libre, is tough. This Pikachu will have a changing signature move based on the contest class you have it dressed up as, rather than the type that you have Rotom as. The cool Pikachu gets Meteor Mash, which is a pretty cool move. I'm not sure if it's really helpful, but it's pretty cool. Duh. That's the, that's the contest class name. The smart Pikachu gets Electric Terrain, which can be pretty helpful in boosting its electric attacks, I guess. The cute Pikachu gets Draining Kiss, which can actually help it get out against dragons, and it recovers health, which is something I'm a fan of. The Beauty Pikachu might actually be the most useful in battle, because it has Icicle Crash, which takes care of ground types, grass types, and dragon types. Those are two types that resist, and one that are immune to electric attacks. And the Tough Pikachu gets Flying Press, which is suitable for the costume, which is Pikachu Libre, and it does take care of grass types because it's a fighting and flying type attack. So you can use this Pikachu in contests, but you can also use it outside of contests in battle. I'm not sure if it's going to be really used in the competitive game. I'm pretty sure you can't evolve it or you can't breed it, so... Yeah, I'm not, I don't think it's really going to be used competitive. It's just kind of a fun gimmick that they're giving to the mascot, which they usually do. But the real big thing that's getting me hyped about the game is that... There's a special distribution on the release date of the game. This is going to be like the Tortric distribution, where you get to make Stone Blaziken out, and you can make it evolve it to make a Blaziken. But this time, we're getting a shiny Beldum. I don't know for sure if we're getting the Mega Stone with the shiny Beldum, but still, this really gives me incentive to buy the game so that I can just get the shiny Beldum. But, like, it seems like overkill because... Not only is Beldum, the Beldum line, the hardest non-legendary Pokemon to catch, but it's shiny, which is, you know, really rare. Shinies are like the rarest things you can find in Pokemon besides Pokerus. And it evolves into a 600 base that told Pokemon that's really defensive and really strong. And it's a Pokemon that Steven gives to you at the end of the game, which like almost feels like oh, we're already getting a free medic. Metagross, you're giving us another one? It's like, so, why are you doing this, Game Freak? It's just too much. It's just too much for me. You're getting just a powerful, shiny Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. I feel like this is going to be the new shiny Gyarados. It's going to be that one shiny that everyone has, so it's like not special anymore. So yeah, I'm afraid this like shiny Beldum is going to end up being the shiny Gyarados. And... But still, it's pretty awesome and it really gives me an incentive to buy this game. So, just need that capturing 3DS and I'm gonna get it. So that's all I have to talk about for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. This is quite a bit of news that we got and I'm pretty stoked for the game. So now I'm just gonna spend the rest of my night jamming out to Boneless by Steve Aoki. I freaking love that song. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Lapani Rasmus Venusaur Blaziken Gengar